Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will show you all 256 chests in Griddle of the Sands area, where 249 chests were released in version 3.6 and 7 additional chests were released in version 4.0. Before we get started, I would like to take the chance to thank Raymond, Max, Kamikaze, and Ruwanta for joining the channel, as well as a dozen of other channel members. All uploads are and will be free, but I do appreciate your support. Now before you start following this video, I would recommend you to first complete all the prerequisite quests listed in the video's description. Alright, then assuming you have done that, let's get started. In my achievement, I have zero count for the chest. And some of you were requesting a count for the primal gems as well. So right now I have roughly 1800 gems. So let's teleport to this waypoint and head towards this location. So glide towards west, left side on the map. Look down here, there's a challenge. Then head west, left side on the map. And defeat the enemies. Then head north, upward on the map. Underneath this tree, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. On the way, there's an enemy here, so let's take the chance to defeat it. Then in the north direction, there's the chest given by the sea Lee. Then head east, right side on the map. Teleport and follow these sigils. There's a challenge here. Then head east, right side on the map. Go around the rock here and let's climb up. In the north direction, upward on the map. Then to your left, in the northwest direction, upper left on the map, 
there's a challenge. Then let's teleport to this waypoint and head northeast upper right on the map. Come to this edge here and jump down. Look down, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. On the way, let's light up this torch and continue to follow it. And we're going to light up two more. Then there will be a chest given by this silly and the other one from lighting up three torches. Then head northwest upper left on the map. There's a challenge but we're going to do it later. First let's defeat the enemies here. Now let's go back to the challenge in the southeast direction bottom right on the map. Then head west, left side on the map. Come to this camp here and defeat the enemies. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. Come to this edge here and jump down. Turn around in the southwest direction, bottom left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. And climb up here. Keep heading northeast and defeat this enemy. Next, let's teleport back. Head southwest, bottom left on the map. Let's climb up here. and head north upward on the map. There's a bell here. It's kind of like a challenge. So activate it and follow the path.
then head northwest, upper left on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. Near the rock, there's a Mora rock pile. Keep heading northeast, there's an amber here. And here we're going to use this gadget, so rush. If you don't have it, then you need to do world quests first. In that case, check the description. Then let's fly up here. And grab this flower. And come back to the amber and use the Q skill to break the amber. And this chest will appear. Then head west, left side on the map. Follow this path and head north, upward on the map. Come to this end and defeat the animal slimes. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. There's another amber here. So let's use the gadget and fly up. There's a flower here, so let's charge it. And break the amber. Then continue to head northwest, upper left on the map. And defeat the enemies. Then head north, upward on the map. Come over here and to your left in the northwest direction, upper left on the map. There's a rock pile, so let's break it. Then head north, upward on the map. Jump down here. And touch the mayfly. And we're going to collect them. One in the northwest direction, upper left on the map, on this branch. Another one in the west direction, left side on the map. And the last one in the southeast direction, bottom right on the map, down here. Then let's head west, left side on the map, teleport towards this sigil. Here to your left, in the south direction, downward on the map, there's a tunnel. Let's use the gadget here and approach these three green vines and use your E skill to destroy them. And this chest will appear. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. Follow this path and teleport towards this sigil. And climb up here.
head north upward on the map. Defeat the enemy. Then head south downward on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head west left side on the map. Come to this edge here and jump down. And glide down slowly. On this wooden platform there's a chest. Then let's climb back up. Head east, right side on the map. Climb up here and keep heading east. Come all the way here and defeat the enemy. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. Jump down here and turn around. In the southwest direction, bottom left on the map, there are two hilly trees. Near the bush, there's also a Mora rock pile. Near the enemy, you can dig up a chest. Then let's jump down here in the northwest direction, upper left on the map. There's a number here. So let's use the gadget and fly up, grab this flower and use the Q skill to break the amber. After that, we're going to light up these four dendro pillars. Then head north upward on the map. Jump down here. And turn around. In the south direction, defeat the enemy. Alright next, let's teleport back again. Head northwest upper left on the map. And follow this path. Near the bush here, there's a sealy, so let's follow it.
then head northwest, upper left on the map. Jump down here and glide towards this cliff. Land here and turn around. There's a chest. Then head east, right side on the map. From here, start heading southeast, bottom right on the map. Follow this path and defeat the enemies. Then head north, up war on the map. Defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport to this Statue of the Seven. Head southwest, bottom left on the map. Jump down here, there's a gap. Enter here and head south, downward on the map. Follow this path, enter the cave here, and glide towards southwest, bottom left on the map, and follow this path. There's a spirit here, so let's follow it. and start this challenge. Then head south, downward on the map, and defeat the enemies. Then nearby, let's follow this silly. Then head east, right side on the map. And follow this path. Use the gadget here, approach the vine. Follow this spirit and destroy the vines.
Then let's exit here and head southwest, bottom left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head west, left side on the map. Defeat the enemy. Then come to this edge and use the gadget. Turn around. On the rock there's a flower. So use the E skill to absorb it. And use the Q skill to break this amber down here. Next, head northeast, upper right on the map. There's a spirit near the branch, so let's follow it. Light up this dendro pillar. Alright next, let's teleport to this statue. Head north upward on the map. Climb up here. There's a chest in this corner. Then head west, left side on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. Teleport towards the sigil up here. And head west, left side on the map. Glide along the mountain. Come near the amber and use the gadget. Come up here and gather the flower. Use the Q skill to break the amber. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. Come to this edge and turn south, downward on the map. There's a sigil here, so use the gadget, approach it and collect the sigil. And then let's place it above this silly. After that, teleport towards this sigil and glide down slowly. Follow this silly.
Next, head east, right side on the map. Teleport up towards this sigil and turn around. Look up, there's another sigil. So teleport all the way up here and head west, left side on the map. Come all the way here and glide down slowly. Turn north upward on the map. In this gap, there's a chest. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemy. Then head north upward on the map. Teleport here and head west, left side on the map. Come over here and start heading south, downward on the map. And defeat the enemies. Then jump down here in the south direction, downward on the map. There's a challenge. Then head south, downward on the map. There's a spirit here. So let's follow it. Next, continue to follow this path. And here use the gadget to destroy three vines. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head east, right side on the map. Follow this path. And defeat the enemies. Then continue to head east, right side on the map. Here take a left turn, so head northeast, upper right on the map, and follow this path. Climb up here, and here in the north direction there are a few vines. So let's use the gadget. Fly up here. Here's the first one to destroy. Then come down here and destroy this one. Then head west, left side on the map. Destroy this one. And here's the last one. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. 
turn around and head southwest, bottom left on the map. Let's climb up here and follow this path. There's a vine here, so let's use the gadget. Then continue to head west, left side on the map, and follow this path. Come up here and turn towards northeast, upper right on the map. We are heading towards this place. Climb up here, and in this corner in the north direction, there is a chest. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. To your right, there's a tunnel. And there's a spirit here, so let's follow it. Next, let's teleport back. Head southeast, bottom right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then in the south direction, downward on the map. In this corner, there's a chest. Next, let's port back to this statue. Turn southwest, bottom left on the map. There's a chest on this platform. So let's glide over here and climb up. Then head west, left side on the map, and jump down here. Use the gadget and gather the flower. Use the Q skill to break the amber. Then continue to head west, left side on the map. Come to this bell and activate the challenge. Then head north, upward on the map. There's a locked chest here. Jump down here and head northeast, upper right on the map. Here's another locked chest. And we're going to light up four torches. The first one in the northeast direction, upper right on the map. Then in the east direction, right side on the map, look up. The next one in the southeast direction, bottom right on the map. 
and the last one in the southwest direction, bottom left on the map. Then let's follow this dendrocele. There are three monsters here around the chest. Defeat them and these three chests may appear and the locked chest may be unlocked. If this happens, then good for you, let's open the chest. But if not, then keep watching, we will get there eventually. Next, in the northeast direction, bottom, use a dendro skill to activate this rock. And grab a dendro granum and activate this lamp. Then let's follow it. It stopped above this shield, so activate it again. And this chest will appear and the shield will be unlocked. Then let's touch this locked chest nearby. And gather three mayflies to unlock this chest. Then head west, left side on the map. To your right, near this bush, there's a chest. Defeat the enemy. Then in the east direction, right side on the map. Look up, there's a dendrocele near this siju. So let's follow it. On the way, defeat the enemies and continue to follow it. Then head west, left side on the map. There's a challenge here. Then glide towards north upward on the map. Jump down here to your right, underneath the branch, there's a dendrogranum. Grab it and in the north direction upward on the map, there's a lamp. So activate it. Then grab the dendrogranum again. And activate the second lamp. Then follow the route here to activate the other two. Nearby there's a dendro pillar, so let's activate it. Then head south downward on the map. Grab this dendrogranum again. And in the northwest direction, upper left on the map, there's a dendro rock, so let's break it. Inside there's a dendro pillar, so light it up. 
then head west, left side on the map, and defeat the enemies. This pillar will be unlocked. Activate it, and this chest will appear. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's a third Dendro Sealy near this Siju, so let's follow it. On the way, defeat the enemies. And here we have gathered three Dendro Seelies. And if previously, after defeating the enemies, the three chests didn't appear, then now, after you have gathered three Dendro Seelies, the three chests should appear. Next, let's port to this waypoint underground. Head straight in the northeast direction, upper right on the map. Use the gadget and hold the E skill to keep the passage open. And follow this path. Defeat the enemy. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint underground. Turn around and head west, left side on the map. Follow these sea jewels. There's a challenge here. Then let's jump down here in the west direction, left side on the map. Come down here and light up this dendro pillar. In the west direction, there's a second one. Defeat the enemies to unlock it. And the last one, let's use the gadget and fly up. Gather the flower and break the amber. And there's the last pillar. Then let's teleport back. Head east, right side on the map. Let's grab this Dendro Sealy. And head north upward on the map. Follow this path. Defeat the enemies, and this chest in this corner will appear. Then head north upward on the map. Jump down here, there's a challenge. Gather four particles on the ground. And then ride the wind current up. In the north direction, on this tube, there are five more. Then ride the wind current up again. In the southeast direction, bottom right on the map. Gather the rest on this tube. Then 
direction in the south direction downward on the map. There's a chest in this corner. Next, let's glide towards northeast upper right on the map. Towards this wind current and glide up. Turn southeast bottom right on the map. There's a chest on this pipe. Next, look down in the west direction, left side on the map. On this platform, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. Then in the west direction, there's a chest that you should have gotten as you did the world quest series. Then let's jump down here through the hole in the middle. In the southeast direction, there's a Mora rock pile. And in the southwest direction, bottom left on the map, there's a chest. Then turn around and come up the stairs here. In the northwest direction, upper left on the map, there's a passage. We can unlock it using this switch. Enter here and follow the path. There's a rock that we can melt using the Dendro Sealy. Then turn south downward on the map. There are a bunch of pipes and we're going to climb up on them. Here let's climb up on the gear in the north direction upward on the map. Climb up on this tube connecting to the gear. And in the southwest direction, bottom left on the map, there's a chest. Then look down, there are several dendro pillars. So jump down here and activate all of them. There are five in total. Next, let's teleport back again. Head southeast, bottom right on the map. And follow this path. Defeat the enemies. Then keep following this path. Enter this room, in the middle there's a chest that you should have gotten as you did the world quest series. Next we are going to climb up here in the north direction upward on the map. So first let's head east right side on the map. and climb up here using these tubes.
and here turn towards south downward on the map. Use your elemental sight, you would see that there's a chest on this platform. Then head south downward on the map. There's a passage here. Follow this path, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. Next, port back again. And come over here to the center. There's a hole, so let's jump down here. Jump all the way down here. In the middle, we can ride the lift down. And head east, right side on the map. Use the switch to open this door. Follow this path and head east, right side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then continue to head east, right side on the map and follow this path. Upon arriving here, you will also get an achievement. We are going to go across here. So let's go around by first heading southeast, bottom right on the map. Let's go along the edge and climb up here. There are many places that you can rest to recover your stamina. Once you got here, let's head east, right side on the map. Behind this pillar, there's a chest. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. Jump down here. Use your elemental sight, you will find this chest in this corner. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head east, right side on the map, slightly towards north. Jump down here, near the camp, and defeat the enemies. Then continue to head east. Near the tree, defeat the enemy. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. 
there are frozen enemies here. So first, let's head west, left side on the map. Come to the amber here and use the gadget. Fly up in the west direction, left side on the map. And grab the flower on the rock. Come back here and break the amber using the Q skill. And this dendrocele will appear. Let's grab it and come back to the chest. Melt the enemies and defeat them. Next, head west, left side on the map. Follow this path and come to the tunnel here. Let's use the gadget and break the three vines. Next, let's teleport back to this waypoint. Head south downward on the map. There are three dendro pillars here. First, we are going to light up this one in the southeast direction, bottom right on the map, the one that's furthest away. Then let's light up this one that's closer, and then light up this one beside us. Then head east, right side on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. Near the bush, let's burn the vine. Then head east, right side on the map. Follow this dendrocele and it will lead us to four torches. Let's light them up. Next, head east, right side on the map, slightly towards south, and defeat the enemies. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. Near this stone, defeat the enemies. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. Near this bush, there's a sealy, so let's follow it.
then head southwest, bottom left on the map. Let's climb up here. From here, let's head north upward on the map. Come to the bell here and start the challenge. Then in the northeast direction, upper right on the map, defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport back. Head northwest, upper left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then teleport back again. Turn around and head west, left side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. Near this tree, there's a Sealy. So let's follow it. Next, head northwest, upper left on the map, and defeat the enemies. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. Approach this chest and defeat the enemies. Then head north, upward on the map. Defeat the enemy. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. Come to this edge and jump down here. Head south, downward on the map. And defeat the enemies. Then turn northeast, upper right on the map. Near the bush, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. In the north direction, upward on the map, let's touch this chest and gather the three main flies. Then head east, right side on the map. Jump down here. 
Look down, there's a chest. Burn the vine. Then head south downward on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. Look around, there are three embers, and we're going to break them all. Jump down here. So let's use the gadget and fly up to gather the flower. Use the Q skill to break the embers. The last one, if it's too far away, then let's go closer. Inside there are dendro pillars, so let's light them up. The last one in the northwest direction, upper left on the map. Then head north, upward on the map, and defeat the enemies. Then continue to head north. Go past this rock and turn around. Look up in the south direction downward on the map. There's a sigil. Teleport up here. There's a challenge. Alright next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's an amber here, so use the gadget. Head northwest, upper left on the map. There's a flower here. Grab it and break the amber. Then head east, right side on the map. Climb up here and defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. 
turn around and head southwest, bottom left on the map. Jump down here, there's a sand pile. Use an animal character to blow the sand. Then head west, left side on the map. Activate this bell to start the challenge. Then head east, right side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's a challenge. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. And defeat the enemy. Then let's glide towards northwest, upper left on the map. Jump down here, there's a chest. Then head east, right side on the map. Near this wooden box, there's a sand pile. Blow it, there's a chest inside. Then head north, upward on the map. Go along this shore. Come to the tree here. There are two pillars. So let's go through the pillars. And approach these three stops one by one. And then this chest will appear. Then let's head north, upward on the map, and follow this path. Climb up here in the east direction, right side on the map. There's an amber here. So let's use the gadget and fly up. Grab the flower and break the amber. Then head north upward on the map. There's an enemy in, in the middle of these three pillars. And here we can dig up a chest. Then head east, right side on the map. There's a challenge. Next, let's teleport back to this waypoint. 
head south downward on the map. Teleport up here towards this sigil. There's a challenge. Next, let's head east, right side on the map. There's a bell here, activate it to start the challenge. Next, jump down here in the southeast direction, bottom right on the map, and defeat the enemies. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. Go along this edge and defeat the enemy. Then keep heading southwest and defeat the enemies. Then head west, left side on the map. There's a challenge. Next, head southeast, bottom right on the map. Defeat the enemy. Then head east, right side on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Head east, right side on the map. Activate this bell to start the challenge. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Turn around and there's a tunnel. So follow this path in the west direction, left side on the map. Jump down here and pick up this dendrocele. Place it here below this vine and use the gadget. Let's first destroy the vine behind us that's on the top. Then destroy this one. And finally destroy the last one here. You will have to do it in this order. Next, keep following this tunnel. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint underground. 
head north upward on the map and follow this path. Enter here and keep to your right. Follow this path. There's a chest here that you should have gotten as you did the World Quest series. Then first head south downward on the map. Come up here and follow this path in the northwest direction upper left on the map. Enter here and take a left turn. There is a passage in the south direction downward on the map, so follow this path. There is another chest in the south direction that you should have gotten as you did the World Quest series. Next, head northwest upper left on the map. Jump down here and take a left turn. Keep to your left and follow this path. Enter here. We have been to this place when we did the World Quest series. To your right in the southwest direction, bottom left on the map, there's a sea lee. So let's follow it. And if you don't have access to this place, then that means you haven't done the World Quest series entirely. In that case, check the description below and do those quests first. Next, let's go back. In the east direction, right side on the map, there's another Sealy. So let's follow it. Climb up here. Here before we climb up, in the west direction, left side on the map, in this corner there's a chest. Then let's climb up and keep following the Sealy. Next, let's go back down. So jump down here in the northeast direction, there's a gap. Jump all the way down here. Let's grab this dendrocele. And then place it near this device. After that, let's rotate this device three times so that it's pointing towards this Sealy. Then come to this device in the south direction and rotate it twice. So that this device connects to this device. And this one will point to this device, which will unlock the door. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. Come up the stairs here, there's a switch. So let's activate the lift and enter it. Come up here and turn around. In the northeast direction, upper right on the map, defeat the enemies. 
then head southeast, bottom right on the map, and follow this path. On the way, there's a Mora rock pile. Keep to your right and follow this path. Here you can use the switch to open the door. Enter here and head north upward on the map. And follow this path in the northwest direction, left, upper left on the map. Enter here. Turn to your left. Look up in the west direction, left side on the map. Teleport up using these sea juice. And in the east direction, right side on the map, there's a challenge. Next, let's jump down here in the southwest direction, bottom left on the map. Underneath the tree, there's a chest. Then in the west direction, left side on the map, there's a ladder. So let's climb up here and take a right turn. Follow this path. Come up the stairs here. Here, let's head northwest, upper left on the map. Enter here and follow this path. There's a chest that you should have gotten as you did the World Quest series. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head northeast, upper right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head north, upward on the map. Teleport towards the sea juice and follow the path. Let's use the gadget here. Fly up and in the southwest direction, bottom left on the map, grab the flower and break this amber in the northeast direction, upper right on the map. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. There are three fireplaces here. Let's put out the fire. Then head west, left side on the map. We are going to glide towards this island.
next, let's teleport to this domain. Head south, downward on the map. Jump down here. And use the gadget. Fly up to grab the flower. And then break the amber. Then in the south direction, downward on the map. There are three sand piles. And in this one, there's a chest. So use an animal character to blow the sand. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's a locked chest, and we're going to find three sealies. So first, head south, downward on the map. Use the gadget here and grab this flower on the branch. And break this amber. Inside there's a silly. So let's follow it. The next one is in the east direction, right side on the map. And the last one in the northeast direction, upper right on the map. Next, head northwest, upper left on the map. Here to your right, there's a tunnel, so let's follow this path. Come all the way here. There are two ways, and we're going to take a right turn. So head northeast, upper right on the map. And from here turn around and go up following this path. From here head southeast, bottom right on the map. And follow this tunnel. Come all the way here and pick up this dendrocele and let's go back. Come near this rock to dissolve it. Inside there's a chest. Then head west, left side on the map. Jump all the way down here. Turn around and head northeast, upper right on the map, and follow this path. Let's pick up this dendrocele here and place it in the middle of these three vines.
then use the gadget to break them. Next, in the east direction, right side on the map, defeat the spider and follow this tunnel. At the end, there's a chest. Then let's head back. Come up here, to your right, there's a passage. So let's follow this tunnel. and defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head north upward on the map. Follow these sea jewels. From here, head east, right side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. Come up here, and in the southeast direction, bottom right on the map, there's a rock pile, so let's break it. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's also a Mora rock pile here. Let's jump down here and use the gadget. Fly up to grab the flower. And then break this amber. Then jump down here in the south direction, downward on the map. Turn around, there's a tunnel, so let's follow it. Defeat the enemies. Beside there's a cage. Inside there's a dendro silly, so let's release it and follow it. It will open this passage for us. Let's continue following this path. On the way, let's grab this dendro silly. Come to the drum here and begin performance. First, nothing, then plunge. Then nothing. Then normal attack. Then nothing. Then normal attack. Then nothing. Then plunge attack. And this chest will appear. Then let's exit here. In the southwest direction, bottom left on the map, there's another drum. First, normal attack, then wait, then normal attack, then wait, then plunge attack, then wait, then plunge attack, and nothing and this chest will appear. Then head south, downward on the map. Exit this cave. 
on the platform. There are many vases. Break all of them and a chest will appear. Next, let's teleport to the Statue of the Seven and head north upward on the map. Come to this edge and jump down here in the west direction, left side on the map. There's a challenge. Then in the north direction, upward on the map, there's a bell. Activate it to start the next challenge. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head south downward on the map. Underneath this root, there's a leaf pile. Blow it and there's a chest. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. There are three torches here, so let's light them up. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. There's a sand pile here. Use an animal character to blow it. Then let's teleport back and head east, right side on the map. Teleport down here, there's an amber. Use the gadget and fly up to grab the flower. And then break the amber. Then jump down here in the northeast direction, upper right on the map. You will see this silly here in front of a tunnel. So let's follow it. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head north, upward on the map. Defeat the enemy. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. Climb up here.
activate this bell and start the challenge. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. Climb up here. There's a drum. First, normal attack. Then, wait. Then, normal attack. Then, wait. Then, normal attack. Then, wait. Then normal attack and wait and this chest will appear turn around in the east direction right side on the map there's a challenge let's jump on the first mushroom and then the third one and then the fifth one and then the seventh one and this chest will appear then head southwest bottom left on the map there's another drum first normal attack then normal attack then wait then normal attack and normal attack and wait and normal attack finally normal attack nearby in the west direction left side on the map there's a mora rock pile then head northeast upper right on the map Start this challenge and jump on the first and second mushroom. Then fourth and fifth. Then sixth and seventh. Then head north upward on the map. There's a third drum. First, normal attack, then wait, and wait, then normal attack, then wait, and normal attack, then normal attack, and wait. Then let's start this challenge in the west direction, left side on the map. Jump on the first mushroom, then the fourth one. Then the sixth one. And the seventh one. These two chests will appear. Then head east, right side on the map. Follow these sigils. Come all the way here and use this gadget. Fly up to grab the flower. And break this ember.
then head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's a challenge. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head west, left side on the map. Activate this bell to start the challenge. Then head west, left side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then teleport to this statue. Head northeast, upper right on the map. Come near the route here and use the gadget. Fly up and destroy this vine. Here's the second one. Follow the route and you will find the third and the fourth one. Then head south, downward on the map. Glide through the tree here. Inside this trunk, there's a chest. Then head northwest, upper left on the map. Grab a dendrogranum and activate this lamp. Then activate three more lamps as indicated. Then turn around in the southwest direction, bottom left on the map. There's a challenge. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. Grab a dendrogranum here and activate this lamp. After that, activate two more and this chest will appear. Then head north, upward on the map. Exit here and head northwest, upper left on the map. Touch this chest and gather three mayflies.
There's a sealy nearby, so let's follow it. Enter this portal here, and you will follow the sealy automatically. Then in the south direction, downward on the map, come to this chest and use the gadget. Fly up here, and hold your E skill. This platform will be unlocked. Let's touch this chest and gather these three mayflies. Then follow this silly in the south direction, downward on the map. Simply enter the portal. Then let's touch this chest nearby and gather three mayflies. Then let's follow this silly in the northwest direction upper left on the map. Enter this portal. Then touch this chest and gather three mayflies.
then follow this silly nearby. and enter this portal. After that, this portal will appear. Let's enter it and you will start a challenge. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southwest, bottom left on the map. Follow this path, go around the tree. Here, there's a dendro rock, so use a dendro character to activate it. Then, let's teleport back. Head southwest, bottom left on the map. We are going to climb up on this tree. Go along the tree here. Lie down slowly and turn around. 
In the west direction, left side on the map. Inside this branch, there's a chest. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. There's a sand pile. Then turn north, upward on the map. Use the dendro character to activate these sigils. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. There are four dendro pillars here, and we are going to activate them in this order. First, the nearest right one. Then, the nearest left one and the left one behind and finally the right one near the domain after that this domain will appear let's take the chance to unlock it and open this chest nearby. Next, let's teleport up using these sigils and head northeast, upper right on the map. There's a rock pile here. Then head west, left side on the map slightly towards south. There's a chest on this route. Then head northeast, upper right on the map. There's a challenge there. Next, we're going to need an extra player. So enter co-op mode here. When two players stand near this pool, this chest will appear. Next, let's teleport to this statue. Head south, downward on the map. Climb up here and start heading east, right side on the map. Follow the path here. From here, head southeast, bottom right on the map. 
there's a challenge. Next, head southeast, bottom right on the map. Jump down here. Jump down here properly. <laughs> Defeat the enemies. Then head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's a challenge. Then head east, right side on the map. Follow this path and go up. From here, head northeast, upper right on the map. Come all the way here. There's a hill tree near the edge. Come near the edge, and we're going to jump and glide down slowly. And the chest will appear. So climb back up to open it. Then glide towards north upward on the map. Jump down here. There's a chest. Approach it and defeat the enemies. Then keep heading north upward on the map. There are some constructions here, so let's break them, and enemies will appear. Defeat them, and this chest will appear. Next, head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's a dendro rock here, so use a dendro character to activate it. Then head west, left side on the map. From here, head southwest, bottom left on the map. There's a dendro lamp here. 
Look up in the south direction, downward on the map. There's a sigil. Teleport up here. There's dendrogranum inside the branch. Grab it and activate these lamps. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint underground. Head north upward on the map and climb up here. Use a dendro character to activate these sigils. Teleport up here in the west direction, left side on the map. And use your dendro character to activate this dendro rock. Then come near this edge. In the north direction, upward on the map, we can activate these sigils. Then let's follow them and teleport up here. Use the gadget here. Fly towards these orbs and use your E skill to activate these bridges. And now we can go across. Come up here, right in front, near the bush, there's a chest. Use your elemental sight and you will see it. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint underground. Right in front, let's use the gadget here and destroy the vines. Then there are two more in the south direction, downward on the map. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint underground. Head southeast, bottom right on the map. Climb over these rocks and head east, right side on the map. There's a challenge. Next, turn around and in the south direction, downward on the map, there's a hole. Jump down here, there's a chest. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. From now on, all the chests are quest related. So first, head northeast, upper right on the map. Go around the tree here and head north, upward on the map. There's an NPC here, so interact with it. Then head southeast, bottom right on the map. There are four such flowers here. So use your gadget, fly near these flowers, 
to activate them. After that, follow these orbs. And activate these flowers in the given order. After that, this chest will appear. Then nearby, you will find these creatures floating around. So use a bow character to attack it. Then use your gadget, approach it and gather it. After which, you can light up these flowers. If the status is gone, simply exit and repeat the process. Once you have lit up all flowers, another chest will appear. If you don't see these creatures, make sure that the time is set to during evening, after sunset and before sunrise. Next, head west, left side on the map and follow this path. Here's the second flower field, so let's use the gadget and activate these flowers. Remember to follow these orders. Then these creatures will appear. Use a bow character to hit it first, and then approach it using the gadget. And now we can light up these flowers. When you light up the flowers, the order doesn't matter. Next, head north upward on the map and follow this path. Here's the third and the last flower field. Simply repeat the process.
Alright, next, let's teleport to this statue. Head west, left side on the map, slightly towards north. On this platform, you will find this NPC, Jar Jar. So interact with it. And interact with it again to start a challenge. After that, forward the time to next day. And then teleport to this waypoint. We are going to go up here. So first, head south downward on the map. There's a sigil here. Then we can teleport up using these sigils. And here is the NPC, so interact with it to start the next challenge. Alright after that, let's forward the time to next day. And then teleport to this waypoint. Head southeast, bottom right on the map. Interact with the PC to start the challenge.
Next, let's forward the time to next day. And let's teleport to this waypoint. Head east, right side on the map. Interact with this NPC to start the challenge. After completing 4 challenges, you will get an achievement and also 4 chests in total. And then let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap, and jump down here. You will find this circular tree trunk thingy, so let's approach it. Okay, so this thing is actually a tree. And here, let's use our gadget and get close to it and press the E skill. And then let's exit and interact with the NPC here. And here we're going to gather three items. And at the same time, you will receive a world crest. So first, let's teleport to this waypoint. And then let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. Come to the edge here and let's use our gadget. And let's fly down here. You will see this rock. Approach it and hold your E skill. After that, let's come down here. You will see a flower here. So let's approach it. And let's pick this up. After that, let's glide towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. There you see the second one already.
So let's land here and use our gadget. And press and hold the E skill. Now let's gather the second flower. Right after that, turn towards west, left side on the minimap. There you see the third one. So let's use our gadget and head towards it. Press and hold your E skill. Let's climb back up and teleport across using these sea jewels to gather the third flower. Alright, after that, let's teleport back to this waypoint and let's report back to the NPC. Alright, and this quest is finished. And let's open up this chest. Alright, after that, you also get this world quest pale fire automatically. So let's teleport to this waypoint. Alright, after that, we are going to look for 10 such trees. So the first one, let's teleport to this waypoint underground. And this waypoint is unlocked as you do your Warcraft series, Gavarina of Good and Evil. So if you haven't done that series yet, check the description below for a link to the master list. And here let's head towards north, upward on the minimap, jump down here, there's the first tree. Let's use our gadget. And use your E skill to activate it. Now interact with the NPC. And here let's use our gadget. And let's head towards north, upward on the minimap. Here there are two such particles. So approach it to use your E skill. And for the last one, let's head towards south, downward on the minimap. It's in this corner. Interact with the PC. And we'll also get the chest. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And then head towards west, left side on the minimap. There's a cave here. So let's enter it. Follow the path here. And here let's jump down and turn around. Follow this path and there's the tree. Use our gadget and use your E skill. Interact with the PC. And this one requires you to gather three flowers. Then let's teleport to this waypoint. And then let's follow this path.
jump down here. And let's use our gadget here. And press and hold your E skill. And there's the first flower. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And then head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Jump down here. Let's land on this platform and use our gadget. And there's the second flower. Alright, for the last one, let's teleport to this waypoint. And then let's head towards east, right side on the minimap. Here to your right, you will see the last one. So let's land here and use our gadget. Press and hold E. And there's the last flower. Now let's teleport back. And report back to the PC. Alright, then let's open the chest here. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this statue. And then let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Here's the tree. So use the gadget and use your E skill. And then let's use our gadget here and follow this NPC.
All right, and that's it. Let's open the chest. All right, after that, let's head towards northwest, upper left on the minimap. Here's the tree, similar procedure. Here let's use the gadget. And in the northwest direction, there's the first one. Use E skill near the orb. Then let's ascend here and turn towards southeast, bottom right on the minimap. Look down. There's the second orb. Then turn towards north, upward on the minimap. There's the last orb. Then let's exit. Then let's open the chest. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And then head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Here, let's use our gadget and press and hold E. Continue to follow this path. Come down here. There's the tree. <laughs> and defeat the enemies. Alright, after that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And then let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. And there's the tree. Let's use our gadget and turn towards south, downward on the minimap. There are three orbs. The second one up here. And there's the last one. After that, let's teleport to this waypoint. And then let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Climb up here. And here's the tree. and then defeat the enemies. All right, after that, let's teleport back. And let's head towards south, downward on the minimap. Here 
take left turn. So head towards east, right side on the minimap. And to your left, here's the tree. Let's follow this NPC. Alright, after that, let's head towards northeast, upper right on the minimap. Jump down here, there's the tree. And here let's use our gadget and head towards west, left side on the minimap. Here's the first orb. And then head towards east, right side on the minimap. Here's the second one. And then let's head towards southwest, bottom left on the minimap. Come up here, here's the third one. Let's open the chest and then let's report back to the NPC. And that's it, you will also get an achievement. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southeast, bottom right on the map. Follow this path. Come up here and head northeast, upper right on the map. There's a shrine of depths. To open it, you will need to use one shrine of depths key. And this key you can get by offering Oculi to the statue. If you are missing one or more keys, check the description below for another video on how to get all keys. Then let's check our achievement.
At this point, you should have exactly 249 chests. There are 7 more that were released in version 4.0. And the remaining part of this video will be getting those 7 chests. So first, if you have unlocked this waypoint, then you can teleport there directly. If not, let's first teleport to this domain and then head northeast, upper right on the map. Follow this path and you will get to the waypoint. Then enter the tunnel here. There's a challenge. Then in the north direction, upward on the map, there's a Sealy, so let's follow it. Here, look down, there's a locked chest. So let's jump down here and defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport back up in the northeast direction, upper right on the map, and continue to follow the Sealy. Then in the southeast direction, bottom right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then keep following this tunnel and head east right side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint and head north upward on the map. Climb up here. From here, let's head northeast, upper right on the map. And defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southeast, bottom right on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. And those were the 7 chests that were released in version 4.0, which are counted into 3.6 achievement. If you have followed this video this far, you should have 21 series, 256 chests, 
and 26 challenges. And then I've got roughly 4,100 Parmo gems. And we started with roughly 1,800 gems. However, we should reduce 400 gems since I've got them from the event. So that would give you roughly 1,900 gems from opening all these chests. Alright, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out my Genshin playlist and my other gaming channel. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.